why is the answer of a negative number multiplied by a negative number a positive? Well, as you probably know, there are various answers to this question and various visualizations for why this is supposed to be true. But let's look at something which relies solely on logic to explain why a negative times a negative is a positive. Let's say we have these numbers, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. And we multiply each one of them with the same negative number. So say, for instance, we multiply by minus 4 each one of them. Then the answer for the first one, if we assume now that we are happy with the idea of a positive number times by negative number is a negative, we will get minus 16, minus 12, minus 8, minus 4 and 0. And you would observe that we have a fixed pattern going on the right hand side moving down. We I've got from minus 16 to minus 12, we could add 4. From 12, minus 12 to minus 8, we add 4. And the same goes for that. We add 4, and the same goes for that. We add 4. Now, if we assume that this is a number line, so we've got 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, moving from the right all the way up to 0 uh, on the left-hand side, and we go down uh, one further, we end up at minus 1 which we again multiply by minus 4, it stands to reason that the answer should this time be plus 4, because we have to follow the same pattern. We still have to add 4. So logic dictates that a minus times by minus, because of the number patterns of all the other numbers that we ha can work with, a negative times a negative should be a positive. And if we don't allow for this, pet, uh, this uh, feasibility, or this possibility that a minus times by minus is a positive, um, our number patterns would suffer in the process. So we have to allow, per definition in mathematics, we have to allow that a minus times by minus is a positive, just to safeguard our number patterns.